morning and welcome back to my channel. We're in the kitchen and I am going to uh, remove the leaves from my top chop collard green that is in the let pot max. Now the greens look pretty good. There are some of them that are yellowing that I'm not going to keep. like this one and again this is from a uh, lack of nutrients that is in the solution You see the plant got very big and was actually touching the lights. And as I previously mentioned, here are my lettuce plants that have died so what i'm going to do is to go ahead well let me show you the actual root system of this collard Okay, here's the actual root system of just this one plant, and it is very big, and that's why none of the other plants could actually grow. So we're going to go ahead and process the, these collards, and then we're going to um, clean, washed and cleaned out the lit pot and dried it off. And we're going to go ahead and store or stow everything back the way it was when it came. Uh, my tops that I have here will go back into here. And the 21, oh, that one more, the 21 lid will go here. We have a little space, spacer here. And then we put the top one here. We're going to go down. Put it back in the plastic bag. Well, actually, I'm not going to do the plastic bag. Okay, I forgot to cord the siphon hose, but I'll roll it up. I'll stick it in on the side. Close everything up. And we're good to go. 
overall, my impressions of it, I, as I've stated quite a few times, for it, um, are very positive. It's good. Um, you can grow a lot of food inside of it. The only downside, um, it's not very tall on the light bar itself. I believe it's 19 inches, 21 inches, which means if you're growing something tall like a collard, collard green, um, you have to make sure that you um, harvest regularly because the leaves will hit the uh, light bar and um, they will shade out your other plants. Now, I haven't used the two bigger um, locations on the two bigger sites, potting sites yet. Um, I plan on using them to see if I can grow two decent sized plants. But with the 21 um, container, um, it is impossible to, um, or, well, it's not impossible, but it's not practical to plant 21 different um, plants in it. Um, you will shade out all, all your plants and um, you will be using a lot of the nutrients and refilling your water um, quite regularly. But, okay, so I'm taking apart the um, DWC, deep water culture that I have. And I just wanted to show you real quick how the roots here of this tomato plant look. Um, if you remember, this plant um, was started in soil outside and I brought it inside. The roots look, look good, um, but the plant itself didn't grow as quickly as I thought it would. Uh, here's what the plant looks like. Um, next time around, I think I'm just going to let the plant get big enough and then I uh, transplant it and see how it goes. Um, I don't consider this a, a fail or anything like that. It's my first attempt and I'm going to keep trying it until I get it right. Overall, great system. I enjoyed it. If you're interested in purchasing one, I'll leave the link down in the comment section um, for it. And until next time, always remember, even in small spaces such as mine and inside your home, you can grow a great amount of food for yourself and your family. Stay strong, stay blessed, and grow, grow, grow. Lastly, and most importantly, always give the thanks to God 